In Islamic eschatology, Dajjal, the Antichrist, looms large as a harbinger of the end times. His name evokes dread, signifying the ultimate trial of faith before the Day of Judgment. Muslims believe Dajjal's emergence will plunge the world into unprecedented turmoil and tribulation. He will appear with extraordinary powers, capable of performing miracles and deceiving even the devout. Dajjal's reign will be short-lived, destined to be vanquished by the return of Jesus Christ, restoring justice and righteousness. Islamic eschatology, like other Abrahamic traditions, paints a vivid picture of the end times, replete with signs and prophecies. The arrival of Dajjal is one of the major signs, a harbinger of the approaching Day of Judgment. His emergence will signal a period of immense tribulation and chaos, testing the faith of even the most devout. According to Islamic texts, Dajjal will possess extraordinary abilities capable of controlling the weather, producing food and water at will, and even raising the dead. These feats, however, will be nothing more than illusions, tricks designed to deceive and mislead. He will travel the world at an astonishing speed, spreading his message of deceit and drawing people away from the worship of God. The signs of Dajjal's arrival are numerous and varied, ranging from natural disasters and moral decay to societal upheaval and spiritual bankruptcy. These signs serve as a reminder for believers to remain vigilant and steadfast in their faith. For the closer the world gets to the end times, the more prevalent these signs will become. Recognizing these signs is not about succumbing to fear or paranoia, but about strengthening one's faith and preparing for the inevitable. It is a call to action, urging believers to turn towards God, seek His guidance and remain steadfast on the path of righteousness. Islamic tradition provides detailed descriptions of Dajjal's physical appearance and supernatural abilities further emphasizing his deceptive nature. According to these accounts, Dajjal will be a young man with a ruddy complexion, curly hair, and a wide forehead. His most distinctive feature, however, will be his single eye, either blind or deformed, a stark contrast to the perfect creation of God. This physical imperfection is symbolic of Dajjal's inner corruption and spiritual blindness. He will possess immense wealth and resources, using them to entice people with false promises of prosperity and worldly pleasures. His powers will include the ability to control the elements, manipulate crops and even bring the dead back to life. However, these seemingly miraculous feats will be nothing more than illusions, tricks designed to deceive and mislead, the food he produces will turn to dust, the water he offers will be undrinkable, and the dead he resurrects will be mere puppets under his control. Dajjal's abilities are a reminder that appearances can be deceiving, and true faith lies in recognizing the difference between God's miracles and the deceptions of false prophets. Dajjal's reign of terror will span the globe as he travels at an extraordinary speed, spreading his message of deceit and tempting people away from the path of God. He will traverse the earth, seeking to establish his dominion over all mankind. His charisma and deceptive powers will sway many to his side, plunging the world into a period of unprecedented darkness and despair. However, Islamic tradition states that Dajjal will be barred from entering certain holy cities, namely Mecca and Medina. These sacred spaces will remain protected by divine decree, serving as sanctuaries for believers seeking refuge from Dajjal's influence. The fact that he cannot enter these holy cities underscores the sanctity of these places and the power of God's protection. It highlights the importance of seeking refuge in faith and prayer, especially during times of tribulation. While Dajjal may hold sway over much of the world, he cannot penetrate the hearts of those who remain steadfast in their belief and devotion to God. Despite Dajjal's formidable powers and persuasive rhetoric, Islamic tradition emphasizes that true believers will be able to recognize and resist his deception. This recognition will stem from a deep understanding of Islamic teachings, a strong connection with God, and an unwavering commitment to truth and righteousness. One of the key ways to identify Dajjal according to Islamic texts is through his physical appearance, particularly his single defective eye. Furthermore, believers are taught to recognize the deceptive nature of his miracles. The Quran, for instance, warns against being swayed by Dajjal's ability to command the heavens to rain and the earth to produce vegetation. Moreover, true believers will be armed with the knowledge of Dajjal's limitations, 
they will know that he cannot enter the holy cities of Mecca and Medina and that his reign will ultimately be short-lived. This knowledge will serve as a source of strength and resilience, allowing them to see through his deceptions and remain steadfast in their faith. Dajjal's primary weapon in his quest to lead humanity astray will be temptation. He will appeal to the basest human desires, offering wealth, power and material possessions in exchange for allegiance. He will exploit people's vulnerabilities, preying on their fears and insecurities. Those who prioritize worldly gain over spiritual growth will be most susceptible to his deception. They will be easily swayed by his promises of prosperity and indulgence, failing to see the emptiness and fleeting nature of such pursuits. Dajjal will present a false dichotomy, a life of ease and abundance under his rule, or a life of hardship and deprivation in adherence to God's path. However, true believers will recognize this as the ultimate test of faith. They will understand that true wealth lies in spiritual fulfillment and that lasting happiness can only be found in submission to God. Their faith will not be shaken by Dajjal's enticements, for they will know that the rewards of the hereafter far outweigh the fleeting pleasures of this world. In the face of Dajjal's deception, knowledge emerges as a potent weapon for believers. Understanding the signs of the end times, as described in Islamic texts, serves as a shield against Dajjal's influence. By studying the Quran and the Hadith, Muslims can equip themselves with the knowledge necessary to recognize and combat his deception. Equally important is the practice of prayer and seeking refuge in God. Regular prayer strengthens the bond between the believer and the Creator, providing spiritual fortitude and clarity of thought. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have taught specific supplications seeking protection from Dajjal's fitna or tribulation. Moreover, understanding the ephemeral nature of this world and the certainty of the hereafter is crucial. Dajjal's temptations hold little allure for those who recognize that this life is but a fleeting moment compared to the eternity that awaits. By focusing on the hereafter and striving for God's pleasure, believers can transcend the allure of worldly distractions and remain steadfast in their faith. While the core beliefs surrounding Dajjal are generally consistent within Islam, there exist some variations in interpretation among different schools of thought and cultural contexts. These differences often center around the nature of Dajjal's existence, the timing of his arrival and the specific details of his powers and influence. Some interpretations view Dajjal as a literal figure, a physical being who will emerge at a specific point in time. Others interpret the concept of Dajjal more metaphorically, representing the embodiment of evil and temptation that exists within individuals and societies throughout history. Similarly, opinions vary on the precise timing of Dajjal's arrival. While some believe it to be a sign of the imminent end times, others view it as an event that may occur further in the future. Despite these variations, the underlying message remains consistent. Dajjal represents a profound test of faith, and believers must remain vigilant and spiritually prepared. The concept of Dajjal holds profound relevance in the modern world, serving as a timeless reminder of the constant battle between good and evil, truth and falsehood. In an age characterized by rampant materialism, moral relativism, and the proliferation of misinformation, Dajjal's deceptive tactics resonate deeply. The allure of quick wealth, instant gratification, and the pursuit of power at any cost mirrors the temptations Dajjal will offer. The rise of charismatic figures who exploit fear, prejudice, and ignorance to gain influence further underscores the importance of critical thinking and discernment. Dajjal's story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of spiritual vigilance. It calls upon individuals to strengthen their connection with God, seek knowledge from authentic sources, and remain grounded in the principles of faith and righteousness. By cultivating a strong moral compass and a discerning mind, individuals can navigate the complexities of the modern world without succumbing to the deceptions that abound. The arrival of Dajjal, as described in Islamic eschatology, is not a cause for despair, but a call to action. It is a reminder for believers to strengthen their faith, deepen their connection with God, and remain vigilant against deception. By embracing the teachings of Islam, 
Engaging in acts of worship and seeking knowledge, Muslims can fortify themselves against the spiritual trials of this world and the next. The ultimate victory over Dajjal lies not in physical strength or worldly power, but in the unwavering belief in God and adherence to his guidance. The story of Dajjal is a timeless reminder that true triumph comes from resisting temptation, upholding righteousness and remaining steadfast on the path of truth even in the face of adversity. It is a call to fortify our hearts with faith, seek refuge in God's infinite mercy and prepare for the day of judgment with unwavering conviction.